Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender using Python code. It's going to be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by searching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And I click X to delete the uh, default cube. Go into Create and add a UV sphere. And then click S to scale it up. I'm going to add a modifier, which is the subdivision surface modifier. And that modifier is going to uh, make the object higher poly. Okay, so now that we have the modifier, let's go into the uh, text editor. So just open a new window and go into the text editor. Okay, and then we need to add a uh, new text. So just click the new icon. And then enable the syntax highlighting on the right side to uh, give the code some color. So let's start off with the uh, import BPY, which is to import all of the Blender functions to the uh, code. And uh, since this is a uh, keyframe tutorial, let's just write positions equals, and then all of the coordinates we want the uh, sphere to move in. So uh, just write some random coordinates. The first number is the X axis. The second number is the Y axis. And then the third number is the Z axis. So I'm going to write about maybe five coordinates for the sphere. And then when we uh, run the script, the sphere is going to move to uh, these positions. Okay, so now we have five coordinates. So let's add the starting position as well. So just starting position equals zero, zero, zero. So uh, the zero value on the X, Y, and Z axis and the object it's obviously going to be the sphere. So you just write ob equals bpy.data.objects. Let's just increase the size first. And by adding a bracket and then an apostrophe, you can name the sphere so that it moves this object. And then end it with an apostrophe and a bracket. Okay, so now it's time to make a for loop for the keyframes of the positions. This part is not very interesting, so I'm going to speed it up. So just write for position in, and then positions, and then a colon bpy.context.scene.frame underscore set, and then frame num ob.location equals position, and then ob.keyframe, and then insert data path location. And then I'm going to slow down the video again, because now we add the most important part, which is the adding of the keyframes. So just write frame underscore num, which is a function we added earlier, plus equals 20. And that means that it's going to add a new keyframe every 20 frame. So every 20 frame, it chooses one of the positions. So uh, that's the coding. And now it's time to save the code first and then add the lighting and start rendering the animation. When it comes to the saving of the Python script, you can just name it wherever you want and then .py. And uh, let's select the camera. So click numpad zero to see through the camera. And then right click to select it. Okay, and I click shift F to use the fly cam and then move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game. Then just make sure the sphere is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation. And uh, now it's time to select the lamp for the lighting. So um, select it and make it into a sun, change the size to one, and then click use nodes and increase the strength to about, let's say, uh, six. And then uh, Let's change the uh, device from CPU to GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can just leave it at CPU. It doesn't really matter. Then let's make the background completely white. And then for the sphere, I want to make it blue. So just add a new material and then change the color to blue. So uh, something like this. Now, if you move on the timeline, you will see that it looks just like the animation you saw in the beginning because it is and then increase the resolution quality to 100% and 
and change the end frame to 100 because we don't re we don't really need that many frames. Change the FPS to 30 and then make sure that the output is an MP4 file. Okay. And then let's give the uh, widow a name. Just name it wherever you want and you can save it wherever you want on the computer. It's just going to be a basic MP4 file or MPEG4 file. You might also want to increase the sampling of the animation to make the animation look better, but I don't really think it will help that much because it's a very simple animation. I'm also going to increase the size of the tiles, which is uh, useful if you use the GPU. If you just use the CPU, you can just leave it at the same number. Let's also um, enable denoising if you have the newest version of Blender so that uh, we uh, remove noise from the animation. So uh, this is the code and uh, now let's render the animation. So this is what it looks like. I hope you liked the tutorial and make sure to subscribe.